from a factory of the future to one with a fascinating past. We've arrived in Oxford for the next leg of our journey, but Ruth can tell you more about that. That's right, we're here at Plant Oxford, home of one of the most iconic cars in Britain, the Mini. Plant Oxford is celebrating 100 years of car making in 2013. Now the home to Mini, five of the brand's models are built here. It has been producing cars since the two-seat Morris Oxford, known as the Bullnose Morris, first rolled off the line in 1913. It all started with Lord Nuffield in 1913 and we've just celebrated 100 years of making cars here. He started making the uh, famous Bullnose Morris and went on to produce the equally famous Morris Minor. I started work here in 1969 and there were 28,000 people working here then. The most significant changes have been in the products themselves. Cars now were very, very different, more complex. And certainly the equipment that's used to manufacture motor cars now has improved incredibly with the application of robotics, for example. Since the year 2000, around £1.5 billion pounds have been invested in mini manufacturing here in the UK. And today, the plant is responsible for five models. The hatchback, clubman, convertible, coupe and roadster. Over 11.6 million cars have been built here in Oxford in the last 100 years. Back in 1913, 20 cars a week would come off the production line. Today, a Mini comes off the production line every 68 seconds. The core model, the hatchback, is due to be replaced by a new generation next year. So we're going to bid a fond farewell by taking this Cooper SD to the next factory on the final part of our tour. Well, we've just left the mini plant in Oxford and unlike everybody else, I had actually never been to see a car manufacturing plant before and it was really quite interesting. And what I really like is the fact that Wherever I'm going to see a Mini in the world, I'm going to know it was actually made right here in Oxford. It freaked me out a little bit seeing the, uh, the robots moving around and putting the pieces together of the, all the Minis. And they do still have people working there, but I remember that they were saying 28,000 people used to work in that factory, probably before they had any kind of machinery and robotics. I can't even imagine how busy that would have been. The modern Mini has built its reputation on being a great car to drive, with its many fans loving the go-kart-like handling. The brand has also embraced a sense of retro chic, building on its status as a genuine motoring icon and British heritage. But it has also brought car ownership bang up to date, by popularising the demand for buyers to customise their cars. This means they can express their personality with a whole host of options, trims, colour schemes and decals. Our trip may only be a short hop through the beautiful Cotswolds, but the country roads are perfect for putting the Mini through its paces. What could be more British? Apart from perhaps a specialist, low-volume car manufacturer using highly skilled craftsmen and women to build sports cars that major in English eccentricity. Can you guess where we're going yet? Yeah? 